Today we're going for park ranger chic. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna stop every five seconds and literally smell the flowers. They're freaking so pretty. There was a moment about 12.40 in the morning last night when I was driving around looking for parking where I was like, I don't really know that I want to do van life anymore. And then the next day is this. Hi, I'm Montana Dana, and on today's episode of Girl Vs. Van, we go for a hike viewing the beautiful Mount Rainier and see all the pretty summertime wildflowers. Subscribe for daily videos. Good morning from somewhere in the state of Washington. Mount Rainier is somewhere down the road there, and we literally parked on a pull-off last night, so let's check out the view this morning. It's a woodsy paradise. Ooh, poison ivy. Just kidding, I don't think that's poison ivy. Part of me just wants to stay here and get ready, but there are even more beautiful views up the road. And I'm almost out of gas. Here's the situation. Cell service is very sparse, but I was able to navigate a gas station last night and it's about 20 miles down the road. So hopefully we don't run out of gas. So we're gonna go 20 miles in the wrong direction to come back to Mount Rainier. And then we're gonna pop up to Seattle to see my brother. And that's my story. Dude, so last night I pulled into this parking spot. It was super nice. I fell asleep. And then this freaking car comes and parks. They keep slamming their doors, walking around all over the place and it freaked me out so I actually left to find another parking spot I drove around for like 20 minutes found a parking spot but there was like a rest in peace sign and a vigil and a picture of someone who had died right at that spot I was parked I was like no I'm not parking here with someone's ghost I'm not doing that I don't know it was like 12 30 in the morning so I drove all the way back here and parked because by the time I left I figured this person's pretty harmless but they're walking around with their flashlight and slam their doors like like nine times, I don't know. I just, traveling alone freaks me out and my rule of thumb is if I'm ever freaked, I just leave and go somewhere where I feel more comfortable, but everywhere else made me feel less comfortable. So we just came back here for the evening. All right, so we're gonna flip below. Yui. Yeah. Bye. Guys, I'm so proud of myself. I took like two days off just to edit and I got like four videos up. So I have the next few days just to explore and nature. And I can be off grid, really happy about it. So Mac here is on his reserve fuel this morning. That still means we've got like, I would say like 80 miles. Oh, 73 miles. Okay, well. Oh, it's pretty. I cannot wait to clean my windshield for y'all. smell the wildflowers. Got some little paint brushes, AKA Bob Ross's. I think those are paintbrush. Got some pretty yellow Sorry, did I just find the most fabulous spot to uh, put my makeup on? I think I did. Hello. I'm gonna make a little coffee, do my hair, and hopefully not get eaten by all the mosquitoes. the lake. I don't know exactly where I am because I don't have any navigation. I had an all trails map like ready to go and I lost it. My map stopped working for some reason. So I'm just going to walk around and ask people where to go but there's like a little trail over by the pond. So oh here's the one I was looking for. Notches Loop. They said to go clockwise though so I might end up walking all the way back up there past my van and then you just walk atop 
this mountain come back around we'll try that out i'm also gonna walk through here we're gonna get all the steps in today look it goes back up in the mountains we're gonna try that out okay so that is paintbrush it's just a certain type of magenta indian paintbrush western i don't even know how to pronounce that oh my god it's a little flower field is this heaven on earth? So I just talked to someone. They said, actually, if you take this trail up and go all the way around, you'll end up right over there. Mountain looks like Disneyland. Like it doesn't even look real. Is that the Matterhorn? Are there in Dom Daba Baba and a little snowman? What are these pretty little guys? I want to find out what those are. These are the paintbrush. I call them Bob Rosses. They're so pretty here. I love them. To be really careful because I'm in sandals. Don't want to step in anything poisonous, but how pretty is this picture gonna be? I feel like I'm just hunting down these little paintbrush nails. Actually heading back to the van to eat breakfast. We gotta fuel up for this hike. I just wanted to wander around and ask people where to go. And get some steps in with that beautiful mountain in the background. All right, so everyone I've talked to says, ew, why is my van the bug hangout? Go away guys, go away. Everyone's saying, that there are like swarms and swarms of mosquitoes up there. So I'm actually gonna pull out a long sleeve shirt. I mean, as much as I want that vitamin D, I don't want to get eaten alive. So many mosquitoes in my van already. I'm like way too hot outside for a long sleeve shirt, but this shirt doesn't even cover my midsection. Oh well, it'll have to do. Today we're going for Park Ranger Sheep. This place is beautiful. I can just like hang out right here. Well, let's go eat breakfast. Breakfast this morning. We got some Greek yogurt and I got some of these little donut nectarines at Trader Joe's. Delight. Oh, it's hot in here. I'm actually gonna turn the AC on. It's not recognizing my key. Yo. I love my van, but the safety features are so incredibly annoying. Like I'll lock all the doors, but it doesn't lock all of them all of the time. There's like some algorithm to when things are locked and when things aren't. Anyways, whatever. So I'm basically having blueberry and peach cobbler for breakfast. How yummy does that look? Oh my god. All right, friends, let's do this hike. So last night when I drove in, I came down this road and I could kind of see the little pond here and I could see the snow cap on the mountain. And it got me so excited for today. But holy shit, I had no idea. I had no idea. I wonder if you can go down there and take like a reflection picture. We're gonna go up and do this hike. I'll figure out the name for you guys in case you wanna come try it. I couldn't with the long sleeve shirt. So I'm just gonna wait till we get attacked by bugs. All the wildflowers here. Good God. Good God. There was a moment about 1240 in the morning last night when I was driving around looking for parking where I was like, I don't really know that I want to do van life anymore. And then the next day is this. And I'm like, yes, I do want to keep doing van life. Thank you very much for asking. So they said, look for the bridge and then go right. We're just going to follow people. It can't be ugly, right? Solo hiking really freaks me out, but my strategy is just to stand at the trailhead, wait for some nice people to come by, say hello, and then low-key stalk them up the mountain. That's how you solo hike. Figured it out. Holy crap, look at those Bob Rosses. They're like bright pink. Oh my god. Yes, there are a fair amount of mosquitoes here, I've decided. Oh my gosh, I was over there Bob Rossin and I lost my group. Dang it. All right, so I've been, I've been asking the people. This is about a two hour hike to do the full loop, which I think I'm gonna do. I ain't got nowhere to be. I was at 2,500 steps when we started. I wanna get 20,000 steps in today. That's my goal. Good God, it's so beautiful here. I've been hearing from everybody. The mosquitoes are so bad up there. Oh, all of them are fleas. Oh, jeez. And these guys just walked back. And they're dressed in long sleeves and pants. And there were mosquito bites like all over their face. Oh, shit. All right, well, we're going into battle, kids. Don't chase the mosquitoes. 
Jesus Christ, nature. Why are you so beautiful? Ooh, there's still snow up here. This is wild. The view from behind ain't bad neither. I lost my group again. Actually, they stayed behind, so I'm just gonna act like I'm like taking a bunch of photos and let them catch up. We are just surrounded by wildflowers. Right, there's a couple that passed us and they were hauling balls. I'm on their team. I want to catch up to them and kind of follow them through. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm going to stop every five seconds and literally smell the flowers. They're free. It's so pretty. I'm so funk lately kind of since i was home for about a month and part of it is that i was off my daily routine but another huge part of it is that i haven't been getting out to nature and like doing the hikes and just doing all the things i know make me feel the best in life so the funk is gone i feel fully recharged so in deciding a place to move i know i need to live in a place where i can at least be outdoors twice a week three times a week but that's why i like van life so much because you go to bed at night you have no idea what you're in for and then you wake up to views like this I can basically live wherever I want, which is the beauty of van life, so. Oh my God, this is so gorgeous. I guess we're gonna loop around and we'll see Mount Rainier at some point. I have to catch up to my friends. I got lost in Sedona because I kept stopping to take photos. Not doing that again. Okay, one more little stop to look at these pretties. And now I'm gonna haul ass up the hill. Everybody's so far ahead of me. I hike fast, but I stop often. For instance. <laughs> Okay, I stopped again. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Happy little flowers are everywhere. I just can't get enough. Never tried trail running before. Guess no time like today to start a... Ow. Dude, I can't run in these shoes. These things are beasts. We'll just have to walk it. Walk it out, Cindy. Okay, I see my friends. I see them working. This stuff is poisonous, but it's very beautiful. Not touching that. Mm -mm -mm. I hope it's not poisonous. It's like right along the trail. I have a feeling Mount Rainier is going to be right around the corner. Look, I wore my nails just for you, paintbrush. Just for you. video of B-roll. I feel like that's all this video is going to be. Oh, there's like two really pretty lakes down there. Oh my gosh. But I'm going to follow these guys. I'm going to try and make the full loop. A lot of people are turning around and going back the same way, but I really want to see the views of right here. I'm so happy. 
coffee. I chose to come here. I'm actually on my way to Seattle to see my brother. And I knew about Mount Rainier, but I didn't know exactly where it was at. I just searched pretty hikes in Washington state and Mount Rainier came up. I'm like, okay, it's kind of on the way. It's like maybe an hour and a half out of the way, but. <laughs> Steps are we at? We're at 8,019 steps. Absolutely covered in dirt at the end of a hike. I'm actually very highly disappointed in this. Well, I had a wildflower hike on my bucket list for this summer, so check, 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 check. I'm gonna say this is up there on my top favorite hikes, but I feel like every hike I go on is my new favorite hike, so. They're all so different though. We came from the Red Rocks, and then we did Yellowstone, and all the glaciers. This is my wildflower hike. I think the variety is what I'm liking. Temperature-wise, it's perfect. Mosquitoes weren't too bad. I'm not quite finished with the hike yet, though. <laughs> is but it looks poisonous. I'm gonna just keep thinking everything's poisonous and not touch anything and then I'll be good to go. Oh baby got my 10,000 steps. Now I just need to do all of that again. Not on these shoes however. These shoes hurt so bad and they're slippery they're cute and they claim to be hiking boots but i keep wearing them so it's my fault at the end of the day i keep thinking i'm gonna break them in We are almost to the end. This hike, I highly, highly, highly recommend. I'll show you the sign at the bottom so you know what it's called. And it's just a big loop. I don't know what time we started, but just go for 10,000 steps and then you'll be done. We still have a ways to go down the line. guys i highly recommend doing that whole loop you see a couple lakes you see all the pretty wildflowers it's the end of july right now so end of july early august i hear is the best time of the wildflowers it's called the notches loop think of nachos but this is the end i mean you can hike from here and go the other way it's just that mount rainier will be at your back which is fine you can always turn around there's a pretty lake down there it's a pretty lake behind us and all the pretty wildflowers I always do a post hike booch. I got this little sparkling apple cider vinegar drink at Trader Joe's. They're really good if you guys find them. I think there's a strawberry one too. They're really, really good. Highly recommend. My brother texted me when I was on the hike, but I wasn't able to respond because I somehow got out of cell range and he's wondering what time I'm getting in. So I'm gonna go find internet and then head to Seattle. Mount Rainier is beautiful. You know what I wanna do someday? This is silly. I want to retrace my entire van life journey with a significant other or with my family, like with my hubby and kids. How fun would that be? But maybe in like a schooling. Yeah, we, we don't do that in a van. All right, I'm gonna make a salad. Look at that healthy salad of goodness. I got one of those salad mixes that has like sunflower seeds and dressing. I added in goat cheese crumbles, hello, and then just some turkey. Actually really, really tasty, really filling and super healthy. I think I came out of there with only three big mosquito bites. There's gotta be one on my back. But silver lining, now I can blame all my back knee on mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. I don't even know which way to go to get to Seattle. My navigation turned off earlier, so. I previously navigated this hike and then my brother's place, so it would just take me directly thereafter. I think it's this direction, so we're just gonna drive till we have service, I guess. This is all part of the adventure. When you're doing solo travel. Got my beverage, I got my grub. Let's go to Seattle. So I've mentioned in the past that van life for me is about finding out where I wanna live and then seeing friends and family I haven't seen in forever. I've moved around a lot in my adult years. I went to college in Boston, moved to 
LA, moved to Bozeman, Montana, moved to Idaho, and then I moved to St. George. So I kind of have friends all over the place, and then COVID hit and all that. So I haven't seen my friends and family in such a long time, including my older brother, who was not able to make it to the family reunion. So he's making me drive all the way to Seattle to deliver his gift basket. So I'm really excited to see him though. I haven't seen him in so long, and he knows all about the nomad life. He's been living on a boat for, I don't know, we'll have to ask him. We'll give him a quiz. We'll give him a test later. Tomorrow on Girl vs. Van, we grab some Rainier cherries on our way up to Seattle to visit my brother who lives on a boat. If you made it this far in the video, write wildflowers down in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends. See you tomorrow.